Hi guys, Paul from DA Brew News. Doing a lot of work around the house today. Pop, beer time. Don't even have a, don't even have a glass. Check it out of the can. It's got the wide mouth top for drinking out of. This is Sly Fox's 360 India Pale Ale. 6.2 alcohol by volume, that's really low. It's nice, low, uh, 70 IBUs. For some reason I thought it was gonna be bigger. And maybe the big can. Yep, so Sly Fox beer, brewed in uh, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Well, I thought they used to be out of Phoenixville. Or if they just have a brew pub there, or they switch their facilities, I don't know. But Phoenixville, famous for the 1956 movie, The Blob. So, uh, there it is, 360 India Pale Ale. Here we go. Cheers. Well, a little bit of soft, soft, sweet caramel in there, mixing a lot of earthy, earthy floral notes, earthy floral hops, soft touch of piney hop in there. Really, actually, it smells actually really balanced. It has a, like a nice sweetness smell coming up, matching all those big hops. Yep, it's like pepperiness, earthiness, which I do like in hops. I like that, but I, especially when they play off other things like big fruits or pine. Yep. All right, let's give it a go. Cheers. Yeah, there is a, a nice amount of smooth malt hops, malt in there. Smooth, sweet hops, malt. Ugh. Smooth, sweet malt in the back. Then they're letting all these hops play on top of them. Peppery, piney, earthy. Bit of like almost uh, grassy, almost like a stinging nettle, kind of a herbal tone in there. Herbal, herbal. Yeah, mm. that's tasty. Almost, it's strange. Almost the, the hops play almost almost a bit of a soft Belgian character because of that herbal note, that herbal note, stinging that old bit of grass, little hay, but a lot of pine, a lot of really sharp earthy bitterness, almost touch of a soft copper coin in there too. Well, let's see what the hops they use. Finally, big bold flavor in a bold can that drinks uh, like a favorite pint glass. Anytime, anywhere, Sly Fox Brewing Company celebrates India Pale Ale, tall boy style with an exciting fusion of Bravo, Cascade, Centennial, and Lemon Drop hops that'll enliven the senses. Wide open flavors and aromas sing out the dry hopped IPA creatively packaged in innovative 360 can. Man, it smells really great. I love the smell. Because it's got that nice sweetness. Really bold sweetness, actually. I guess you could say there's a little bit of faint citrus lemon in there. Something, like something soft in there. But it's a low-key player. It's more along the lines of those earthy, peppery, grassy, piney notes. And it's not a pine bomb either. It's more just everything else mixing together. No. It's a nice drink. Not blowing me away. It's very, very standard, very nice. I've had, actually had other things from Sly Fox that I like a little bit more than this as far as IPAs go. But for what it's doing, it's nice. It's good carbonation on there. It's actually filling my belly a little bit. So, probably going to get this one. I think overall, I think this one's going to get an eight, an 8 for me. 8 out of 10. It's really good. I do like it. Just a little bit in there that's... It's good. Maybe it's the hops. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's my belly hurting now since it's a little carbonated. 
but overall, pretty damn good beer. 8 out of 10. Give this one a go. I think you'll like it. Um, I'm going to pick some up. I don't even know the, the date on this. See, this was actually packaged way at the end of December. See, this is already a month and a half old, almost two months old now, so if I find a fresher can, I'll definitely give this one a go and let you know what I think if it changes. But it's been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.